On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the MAGA holding on the new Jack Devastators for the Reclaimer 18 that allows you to use the shotgun akimbo. Let's go test it out. So after being delayed a week, probably because of the BO6 beta, we can finally get our hands on these Jack Devastators. And these are either going to be really good or really bad, but that's what I'm here for. And the reason why I say they're either going to be really good or really bad, because I don't think they want a whole nother akimbo shotgun that's going to go crazy in multiplayer at least. And they basically have the same stats and zombies that they do in multiplayer. But in addition to that, you actually are allowed to have slugs on these. A lot of the times when we've seen shotguns get aftermarket parts, you're not allowed to change out the ammo type that they get. But I am running slugs on this. I'm going to try it without slugs after this game. But so far, it seems like in tier one, the slugs are doing Doing pretty decent but at range not very accurate and as for our unpack a punch to reload it looks like hold on let me shoot out these last few bullets on each weapon you actually reload all bullets at once so it might even be faster and i do want to check this out really quick with a default reclaimer one of the best features of it is being able to shoot and reload so you can get a kind of a crazy fire rate on the weapon so let's see if we can do that here does not look like it, it looks like with its different fire rate or it's different reload animation, you aren't able to just shoot and spam reload. You're just going to constantly be putting your weapon away. But it seemed to do pretty all right in tier one. How are we doing in tier two? Hellhound, can we kill you? Bars. Okay, looks like we can. Oh, it took a few shots though. And against some unarmored zombies, still taking a few shots. The disciples coming in, that ain't helping. Leave me an armored zombie without buffing it, please. We broke its armor, but we are getting hit pretty hard over here. Does not seem to be doing the most damage, but it is capable of taking these zombies out if you got enough patience for it. And now let's see how we're doing against some tier three zombies. I don't think this is going to go very well. Please do not kill me. Where's a fully armored one? Here we go. How are we doing against you? Let's fire them both at the same time. I don't think there's much of a difference alternate firing them. Maybe I should just fire one at a time. That way I always have a weapon to use. But it's not doing a whole lot to him. He do not seem to mind being shot by these. Like, you can see a little bit of damage going on his health bar, but we can't even get through his armor. We got to get out of here. But that was all unpack a punch unupgraded. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's get it to legendary and pack three. Let's see if the reload's any different. It looks like we still only have four bullets in each weapon. So our ammo doesn't change at all. Our damage range slightly. It looks like on that shot, a little bit of the the bullet spread the pellet spread went and hit another zombie like out of the same line as the one i shot i'm not a mathematician i don't know the right words i'm not even i barely even speak english and it's my first language but it, that zombie wasn't directly behind the one that we were shooting at and it still ended up hitting them and killing them and the mangler seems to go down pretty easily and our reload seems to be about the same speed unfortunately now what about with speed cola let's shoot a few shots get a reload in oh that's not bad that's pretty fast i wonder if we can oh okay you know what this can kind of do the old reclaimer thing now that we got speed cola and pack a punch that's sweet because i was gonna say if this wasn't doing as much damage or wasn't shooting as fast as the old reclaimer it might just be worth it to not use this aftermarket part but they kind of covered for that okay i see a sledgehammer let's start off with a nice little bounty we'll get all good and warmed up how are we doing against you pal let's do one shot just from one of the guns that just broke his helmet and did a good amount of damage. And then we fire both and he's gone. These are looking pretty good so far. I'm not going to lie to you. And I just got to point out, they absolutely killed it with the inspect animation on these guns. There's just so much going on. You can flip them all around. And I think at one point, you even pop out a shell, catch it in your mouth and hawk to that thing back in the gun. I'm sorry. I, I, I folded. I, I've been trying to fight off hawk to for however long it's been out but it's so stupid it looped its back away to being funny and it's infiltrated my friend groups like hive mind verbal stimming and it's just been bad i'm seeking help but i guess now that we've seen the reload let's go ahead and use our maga holding let's use our golden armor plates use the rest of the perks that we got here and let's see what i left in my tombstone because i died last time i played apparently Ooh. oh <gasps> That's the final schematic I need. I forgot about that. Glad I had Tombstone. Oh, I remember what happened. It was such an embarrassing death in the Dark Aether. Do not go back and watch our last Modern Warfare 3 stream. Nothing happened. There's nothing to see there. And how are we doing against some tier 3 zombies now? Looks like a one-shot headshots. That's pretty good. I'm also shooting both of them at the same time. I have not found a fully armored zombie. Where you at? Where you hiding? Here we go. Fully armored zombie. 
Gone in one shot. Okay, that's pretty consistent. That ain't bad. And let's see if I can get the hang of the constantly firing and reloading. Oh, I'm an idiot. The, the Maggle holding actually kind of takes that option away from us. Oh, well, it still looks like it's doing pretty good. Uh, I'll have to go into another game and use it without Maggle holding. Well, let's go ahead and try it against a tier three bounty, shall we? Go ahead and give me a Mega Abomination, please. Let's go. What's up, pal? Yeah, shoot that laser right off the bat. You know what we're looking for. Ooh, face broken in just two shots. So I guess four, but two shots from both guns. And looks like the range is a little bit better. Still does way less damage at range because I don't think all the pellets are landing. But it's not terrible. Can we break his face without him even lasering here? Don't look like he want me to. You don't want me in that jaw. You want to see the damage I can do. And Mimic, I promise you, you don't want none of these. All right. Night, night. Let's get another face of yours gone. There we go. One left. Go ahead and yell. Ain't nobody coming to help you. Come on, let's just end this. Shoot another laser, please. Go for it, try me. You can keep trying to bite me, it ain't gonna help. You're just prolonging your suffering, there we go. Oh, he might, might get me here. No, he won't. Psych ass, sit down. What you got for me? Ah, oh, jug, I'll take it. We're stacked on jugs right now. Check out my jugs. Is our Stormcaller buddy still alive? I just wanna have a, a little chat and also see how much ammo we have when we're fully maxed out. Looks like 168 is the amount. And we still do pretty good against the enemies in the storm, but I think the disciple's already dead. Stormcaller got cooked. He's probably just scared. I would be too. But I feel like I might be doing this gun a, a disservice having MAGA holding on it. I want to try it out using the reload method and, and trying to shoot it faster. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we will not be using the MAGA holding because these guns might be better without it. Let's go find out. Let's see if I can get the hang of the whole shoot and reload thing. Almost there. I feel like as long as we're not on the very last bullet, it works pretty good. Actually, is it still just shooting the same speed? No, it's definitely faster. I wonder why that is. It's not like I'm I'm recocking it after each shot when I when I go to hit the reload. And what if I alternate? Is that a little bit faster? I feel like I can't tell a difference. And since the match just started, our Stormcaller is here and we can actually test it against him. Zombies, no time for you. To the decoy with you. Let's just do our reload method on him. Still seems a little slow, but it's doing good damage. We're definitely chunking the shit out of his health. Come here. You're done. No healing, no nothing. Zombies, I don't need you here. Actually, you know what? Healing aura. Or, nope, I don't even have a... I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm trying to call Aether Shroud healing aura, and it's not even ready to go. Now it is. Let's pop that. Let's mess him up. Ooh, okay. I had the alternate shots going there. I don't know how I did that. Okay. This could actually be crazy if I can get the alternate shot reload strat down. I will absolutely melt through things. And let's try another tier three bounty now that we can do the reload method. And it's abomination. Beautiful. Perfect. What's going on, buddy? You ain't gonna live with a day of peace in your life. Especially if you keep shooting them lasers. We already got a face broke. I'm trying real hard to get this reload method down. Oh, if I can get the alternate fire going, it'll be sweet. Maybe if we just climb up here, he'll give us a little extra space. That's not where I meant to climb. Let's do this. There you go. Another face broken. Oh, here we go. Got the alternate shot down. Oh, I had it for a second. It was there, but he is dead. That's for sure. He's definitely no longer with us. It almost seems like random when it wants to do it. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a, a flow going with it. So shoot right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. I might just be trying to hit them too quick in between each other. But so far, I'm not seeing a reason to not use slugs on these. It looks like it works just like the Reclaimer would with slugs. It's still doing good damage. Let's see if this Mangler agrees. Is this doing good damage to you, sir? You like that? You enjoying it? That his armor's actually eating a good amount. But his armor's gone now. Can't save you. See you later, pal. But 100%? I would definitely recommend against using Maggle holding with these. So like, look how slow the fire rate is just doing this. But when you still have the ability to reload, it's like four times faster. 
it's actually insane the difference it makes. But I want one of these contracts to go ahead and drop me a sigil. I want to test this out in the new Dark Aether. See if I can solo it with these. There's the sigil we've been looking for. Now, let's go ahead and take these bad boys for a spin in this new Dark Aether. I also brought in some inhibitors. We can go ahead and try the Entity boss fight. It's not going to be the same as the Elder one, but it's pretty close. It's close enough. Let's break this open. Give me that. And I'm not even going to use the detector for this. We don't even need it. The maze is just way too simple. We walk through here. Easy. Done. Got it. This way. Right through here. Bring it around town. This way. Then we climb on up. Up over here. Jump down here. Shoot a zombie. Back this way. And we're coming back through. Part of me zombies. Excuse me. Through here, through here. Don't go down, okay, maybe one down. That's necessary to make it through. And we make it right over to here. It worked, holy shit, I did it. I redeemed myself. Let's make a sacrifice to the whale. Give me that. And now I don't need this. Let's try the outlast without dying. And actually right now we got a good group of zombies here. Let's try to test these out against a horde. Can we survive it? So far, it's looking like it, especially with the reload method. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty confident going into this uh, outlast, as long as this disciple don't kill me. Let's start it up, and hopefully we survive. I'm pretty sure if we just don't stop shooting, we'll be okay. What I'm really worried about, though, is when that boss spawns in halfway through, because that EMP can really mess you up, especially when I'm really concerned about reloading here. Because the reload is what really makes this thing shine. Okay, Aether Shroud. Got a little bit of hectic there. Don't get too crazy, zombies. But this is still performing pretty well for the Dark Aether. Like, no elite, no zombie is really giving me that much issue until I back myself into a corner. And now all the zombies despawned. We have our boss. You know what? He seems pretty dumb. Let's try to take him out. We already got a good amount of health off of him. Let's just eliminate this issue. See you later, bucko. That was sweet. But the EMP did hit me and I can't reload at all. All right, we're good, we're good. Damn, I actually took them out pretty fast. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give my uh, my grade of approval. These things, 10 out of 10, maybe even a 12 out of 10. They actually slapped the dicks off these zombies. And now they're gonna give me a good reward for being a good boy. Oh, I packed three crystal, I'll take it. I'll just spawn the disciple in right now. I guess I'll just equip that cashmere and try to grab this other self-revive. But I don't think the zombies are gonna let me into it. Or the game for that matter. Let me access my reward rift. There we go. Escort mission, it's your turn. Gimme. We can definitely make it through this. I just need to not be dumb. I've been able to do this with just a spear and a scorcher. I can do it with just these shotguns and a scorcher. And we gotta remember to hit up that boss fight halfway through. That way we can get the key to get to the entity. So far, so good. We're at about 90% going into our first stop. Most of the time, I usually have it blown up by now. Okay, all right. Uh, we're losing that percentage fast. The little cashmere can't can't help or can't hurt. We got this thing going sideways. Ooh, and we're almost out of ammo. I think we picked some up right then. All right, those, that's some charity damage you guys got. You ain't getting no more. Oh, I got the alternate shot going now. I'm in a groove. I just can't stop shooting or I'll lose it. I think I just have to be reloading one while I start shooting the other. It's very, like, rhythmic, too. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Okay, let's use another cashmere here. Just to be safe. Okay. N not safe enough, apparently. But we still made it through. We're going to the last two stops now. I think right in that building is where I need to go. But do I sacrifice the ACV for it? Because I don't know if it's going to survive with me gone. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get it in position real quick. Maybe I wait till I have a cashmere, then we go. That probably seems like the best way to do it. We'll start doing the super suck. Let's keep the zombies away for now. Oh, actually, it might be chalked either way. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care about this ACV anyways. Shh, never cared about it to begin with. <laughs> Screw you guys. You're very close to it too. Damn. Could have had it done. Oh well. We'll get the entity instead. Come here, key holder. If that's your real name. Um, probably a cashmere here would do me good. Get all these zombies the fuck out of my face. And come here, key holder. It's time for you to go night night. Yep. Bedtime. See you later, buddy. Give me that. And let's go to our spore contract. We should be able to complete this one without many issues. I won't say with no issue. That's just asking for trouble. 
And there we go. Like I said, minimal issues. Or at none so far. Hold on. There's still time. There's still time to fuck up. Go to the decoy, please. Um, I want this Elder Sigil. And I guess I will take this crystal over... Nothing, actually. Fuck that crystal. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a F or H. Actually, I can use the key. Open these up. Make sure that's all good. Ooh, do I want to self-revive an extra one to be safe? Or do I want another Ethereum crystal? It's just... I know how dumb I am. I'll take that as insurance. All right, Entity. I'm coming. You ain't surviving this. I hate to break it to you. You might as well just die right now. Make it easy for the rest of us. What up, baby girl? Apparently, the Entity's actually getting its own operator. Which is gonna look sweet. But bite on Fortnite much? Ooh. I think the biggest issue with this thing is going to be the damage range. It's already proven to be a, a big, big problem. Because I could only get two of those spears or circles broken, two of the orbs. And I'm getting slapped around. Maybe I should throw a decoy or a cashmere or something to keep the zombies away from me. Oh, wow, Joe, what a smart idea. But I can hit multiple of them at the same time. Didn't break them all, but that was just warm up. That was, that was a warm up. Let's Aether Shroud. Keep all the zombies away. Can I get these broken? I'm hitting multiple. We're getting there. Okay. I'm actually playing like a dumbass. So I'm playing very normally. No laser. Leave it alone. You're the opposite of an abomination. I don't want to see any lasers. Okay. I, I get so tunnel visioned on breaking these orbs that I do not pay attention to any of the zombies. And I didn't break it, I don't think. I think she teleported the frame before it broke. How many self revives are we at? Two. Wow, what a great start. Okay, so maybe these things aren't going to be that great against the Entity. If you were, like, 40 feet closer, you'd be cooked. I will break her whole phase one of these times. We gotta get all these orbs broken. Oh, I don't think it's happening. All right, remember all that shit I was talking to you, Entity? I'm sorry. I don't mean it. I was just goofing around. You know, I was just joshing. But if you could really just let me get this... I'll be very, very grateful. Come on. Please. For me. Last one. Oh, of course. You teleported before I can get the last one again. You're not playing fair. Oh, here we go. We got the alternate firing going. And shit. Lucky shot. Come on. I gotta at least break one phase before you, you can beat me. There we go. Finally. Okay. It's definitely possible. We just need somebody with a few brain cells in here to fight her. And now I'm stuck with this graphic on my screen. I still have the, the smoky effect from her squirting on me. You gotta get that pH checked. Oh, nice. Awesome. Look at me taking fall damage for my last down. I'm out of self-revives, aren't I? Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, Entity, you win. Good shit. Put up a good fight. I'll let you have this one. You know, you gotta let them win sometimes. Can't always come in there and just beat them up. Or they just won't show up. And just for the sake of testing, we're gonna go ahead and try these out without slugs. I'm using the same exact build, just completely remove the ammo type. I'm gonna go ahead and pack a punch and upgrade it. Zombies still getting exploded. I don't see any difference in the amount of ammo in each weapon. Looks like you still only get four when pack a punched. But we gotta go test it in tier three. Do we have a difference damage wise? I'll just shoot one. One still kills. At least to the head. But that is without a uh, dead shot. Let's uh, change that. Let's get dead shot and speed cola going. And how are we doing now? Looks pretty similar. I feel like I was killing a little bit more consistently one shot with the slugs, but this isn't that far off. And you would think with the slugs, we'd have more damage range, but I'm hitting a bit more consistently from range here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I, I jumped the gun on that. Because I completely was shooting around that zombie. Dude was dodging every bullet. And how are we doing against a tier 3 HVT Disciple? Don't you fly away from me. You stay over here. Not breaking his armor or his mask as fast as we were with the slugs. Maybe it's just because I'm not up close enough or the spread ain't hitting right. And I'm out of ammo. Okay, zombies. Drop me some. Thank you. All right, now that we got that taken care of, can we break the mask? It looks like it's already broken. Nope, there it is. It just has a little different uh, player model on it or character design, whatever you want to call it. We got them pretty low now, but I think it actually might struggle more with armor without slugs than it does with it. Because with the slugs, I was getting right through armor pretty fast, like within one shot. 
and I think it was a little more accurate in terms of like the spread. Like I was hitting where I was aiming at a majority of the time as long as it was close by. But this guy's hanging on. He's surviving. And I'm struggling to like multitask taking out the zombies and fighting the disciple. Like they're putting up a fight. So maybe slugs are uh, significantly better. E even if it's not that noticeable against just normal zombies. Once I start fighting elites alongside them is where it gets a little difficult. Like, I can't shoot them for long enough to stop them from healing while also keeping myself upright against these zombies. We even got a whole other Aether Shroud. We got the alternate shots going. It's definitely not doing as much. I'm not seeing as much damage coming off of this health bar. That's kind of disappointing, but at least we figured it out. I'll be the I'll be the test dummy. Now I need you to die, dude. Please. This is going on long enough. There we go. Jeez. Another disciple. Damn it. It's actually kind of insane how much of a difference slugs makes on these. Because it just took me all the way until he's at this amount of health to actually break his mask and start dealing some real damage. The armor damage difference is absolutely crazy. But we finally got that abomination we've been looking for. How we doing? Can we break the face in as little shots as before? Not looking like it. I don't know if this is like a glitched abomination where his faces don't break, but he still takes good damage or what's going on here. There we go. Finally broke it. it. Just takes a bit longer and we're out of ammo again. We were not really having this issue with running out of ammo using the slugs. I guess we're just killing enough stuff to have the ammo drop. Now that's not doing as much damage. It's, it's getting a bit more difficult to manage our ammo. Yeah, I think this is significantly worse. That's two faces gone. This is just ridiculous. Look how little health is coming off of that health bar every time I shoot him. And we're out of ammo again. How's this happen? Let's end it here. Hopefully. Nope, you stopped shooting the laser. Mimic. Come on, dude. I always want to be the center of attention. Okay, now you're really done. It's time. Time to go. You've overstayed your welcome. Come on, dude. You have a nut hair of health. Just go. Leave. Finally, I think I've seen enough of this ammo type. Get me out of here. I guess while we're at it, we might as well try out all the ammo types. Now I'm bringing in the dragon's breath rounds. These historically, at least in this zombies, have not really done too well. There was a time there where incendiary rounds on other weapons were doing well, but I don't think dragon's breath has ever had its time, but maybe it's today. Now how's dragon's breath doing in tier three? I can see the zombies actually getting caught on fire but it's not like one-shotting them or maybe from a distance it wasn't let's throw a quick decoy see if i can just single out one zombie here's a fully armored um it looks like it one-shotted i, I might have whiffed on the first one Hold on let's get this guy right here nope did not one shot on that one okay so it's a two shot but it does do fire damage let's uh shoot once and then see how much damage it does after that it does very slight amount. But it's not bad, at least not so far. All right, how are we doing against this abomination now? Can we live up to the slugs? Ooh, looks like it killed a bit faster than no ammo, or at least broke the face, I mean. There's way too many zombies here. Please go to the monkey bomb and leave me alone. Come on. Keep yelling or shoot a laser, whichever one you prefer. It do not matter to me. As long as I can hit you in the mouth, okay. What the hell was that? Cashmere time. Oh, I hit my Aether Shroud too late. I think I'm out of self revives. This is not good. That cashmere fell off the roof and did not help me. There's gotta be a self revive in this. Let's go, dude. What about here? Not one there. That's fine. We live to fight another day. Or maybe not. It is very hard to use this without golden armor plates, actually. Because the time you need to take to shoot an armor, you don't really get that when you gotta constantly reload to make this more viable. Because that laser is deadly. Come on, we gotta be able to take you out. We already got one face, so I know it's possible. Can I please get the rest of them? Oh, you're at too much of a distance. You gotta get closer. Come on, help me out here. Oh, an insta-kill? You know what? I need it at this point. Let me take you out with it. Oh, I don't think he's going to let us. Please don't go down. Please don't go down. Fuck. That's not good. Wow. 
Look at these legends. Do I try to fight it again though? Or do I just cut my losses? Because this is obviously not as good as the slugs and maybe not even as good as no ammo. I think we might just have to cut our losses here. Dragon's Breath, no bueno. No good. Kind of ass. All right, we're trying out the last ammo type. These are the bolo rounds. I'm pretty sure they're similar to slugs, but like all the shots in it are like tied together or something. I don't know. I don't know shit about fuck. All I know is shoot zombie and that's what I'm here to do. Now let's take these for a spin against some tier three zombies. Here's a fully armored tier three zombie. Can I kill him in one shot? Looks like it might've been one shot. I don't know if any of the pellets on that first shot hit, but he went down pretty quick. These seem to definitely be doing better than the other ammo types we tested besides slugs. I think it's uh, pretty similar to slugs. Oh, right, here's a, a lone fully armored tier three zombie. And it does one shot him. Okay, that's good. Now it's your turn, Abomination. Go ahead and shoot your laser. Can we break it in two shots? Looks like it. So these gotta be extremely similar to slugs. I don't know if there's a benefit to using one over the other though. They might just work. Like exactly the same, at least from what I'm seeing. Let's get that other face broken. Our shots seem to be a little bit slower here that or I'm just mistiming them. I don't think the ammo would affect the uh, like speed of how I can reload and shoot them. At least I wouldn't think so. Maybe I've just been mistiming it. This seems about right. And it looks like for all the ammo types, we only get four rounds in each gun, which sucks. I was hoping one of them at least would you know, give us a, a good amount, but I guess not. And before we get out of here, is there a storm car we can fight? There is. What's up, dude? What about one more ass kicking for today? How's that sound? I'm gonna throw a quick decoy. And it's time for you to go to bed. Oh yeah. Definitely messing them up a lot faster than the other ammo types were. The disciples were kind of uh, durable against this if I wasn't using slugs or bolos, but not anymore. Later, Stormcaller. I'm bringing your skull with me. I'm gonna go trade it in for a PS5 Pro. Now that we've tested all the different ammo types, it's time to make like a tree and get out of here. So overall review of the Jack Devastators, they're really good as long as you have slugs or bolo rounds in it. I would definitely recommend not using Mago Holding, but if you could bring in something to help it out, bring in some golden armor plates because you guys saw how much I was going down there when I didn't have any armor. And it's pretty difficult to actually hold off the zombies while trying to do the shoot and reload method and while armoring at the same time. It just does not work with these guns. But what I will say with either the slugs or the bolo rounds, these these things could be some of the best weapons in the game. I think it can really compete with just a normal reclaimer, which is already one of the better weapons, and just having two of them helps out a good amount. I didn't really have any ammo issues with the bolos or slugs, but if you don't bring those in, I feel like you're gonna be running out of ammo pretty quick, you're gonna be running out of armor pretty quick, and it's gonna put you at a disadvantage. But overall, these are really good aftermarket parts, and I would recommend using these in tier three or the dark aether. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate our love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.